Managing a farm demands exceptional dedication and effort. The work involves pre-dawn starts and relentless physical toil in all weather conditions. One farmer, frustrated by persistent trespassers who disregarded his requests to stop parking on his property, reached his breaking point. Exhausted by fruitless attempts at politeness, he resolved to take decisive action and impart a memorable lesson to the offenders. Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the story. Dava Bovic, a Croatian farmer, found his livelihood unexpectedly threatened by inconsiderate parkers. His farm, reliant on nutrient-rich soil, faced weekly disruptions from trespassers. Though naturally reserved, Bovic's unconventional solution to this parking problem went viral, ultimately attracting police attention. The outcome, however, proved surprisingly favorable for the farmer. Bovic's predicament began when his village, Suric of Javak, was incorporated into Zagreb. The merger brought a popular flea market to town, drawing crowds of bargain hunters each week. While some locals embraced the economic opportunity, farmers like Bovic were less enthusiastic about the sudden influx of visitors. The town's limited parking facilities quickly proved inadequate for the market's popularity. Visitors, finding the designated areas full, began parking wherever they could, including on Bovic's expansive farmland across the street. To many, it seemed a harmless solution for a few hours of shopping. Despite Bovic's repeated objections to this unauthorized use of his property every Sunday, the practice persisted. Contrary to common perception, Bovic understood that even stationary vehicles posed a significant threat to his farmland and livelihood. The viral video of Bovic's retaliation sparked controversy, with some critics arguing he had overreacted. However, the seemingly innocuous act of parking on his land posed a genuine threat to his livelihood. Idling vehicles release harmful chemicals that can degrade fertile soil, a critical resource for a farmer like Bovic. Bovic's challenges extended beyond unauthorized parking. His farm's proximity to one of Zagreb's largest landfills already posed significant environmental concerns. The most insidious threat from the landfill was leachate, a toxic liquid formed when rainwater percolates through waste, absorbing dangerous substances like methane, carbon dioxide, and various acids. This noxious mixture can contaminate groundwater and soil, potentially poisoning crops or rendering land infertile. Given the existing environmental pressures from the landfill, the additional threat of car fluids seeping into his vulnerable soil from parked vehicles was particularly concerning for Bovic. His initial attempts at politely informing trespassers about the issue backfired, seemingly encouraging more people to park on his property. This escalating situation put his farmland, and by extension, his livelihood, at even greater risk. The video footage captured Bovic's field, lined with cars in two neat rows, a typical Sunday scene. Bovic, having exhausted his patience, was ready to address the recurring issue of trespassers damaging his land. His approach, while resolute, wasn't malicious. Rather than resorting to destructive measures like tire slashing or having vehicles towed, he chose a more fitting solution. After countless polite requests had fallen on deaf ears, Bovic decided it was time for action. He mounted his red tractor, turned the key, and set his plan in motion. His strategy involved plowing his fields, but not for cultivation. As onlookers watched in bewilderment, Bovic began tilling the soil in front of the parked cars. Initially, people dismissed it as a farmer oddly working on a Sunday. Bovic was thorough, meticulously turning the earth back and forth. Gradually, the unusual nature of his actions drew more attention. The true purpose of Bovic's plowing became apparent when market-goers returned to their vehicles. He had transformed the ground into an impassable, tilled expanse, effectively trapping the cars. Bovic stood by, a satisfied expression on his face, as the regular parking offenders realized their predicament. None had anticipated being unable to leave Bovic's property so easily. Bovic's satisfaction was not universally shared. As complaints mounted, law enforcement soon arrived at the scene. The officers were initially perplexed by the sight of vehicles stranded in freshly tilled soil. They approached Bovic, still seated on his tractor, with numerous questions. Typically, 
Such a situation might have resulted in charges of traffic obstruction. However, this was far from a typical case. While the land indisputably belonged to Bovich, the market's economic importance to the town complicated matters. The police needed to carefully assess the situation. After a thorough discussion with Bovich, the authorities reached an unexpected conclusion. He had acted entirely within his rights. Despite the inconvenience to the stranded motorists, Bovich was justified in his actions. The vehicles had been parked on his property without permission, and as a landowner he retained the right to work his fields at any time. Moreover, he was entitled to protect his livelihood and property. The police departed without issuing even a warning to Bovich, effectively validating his unconventional solution to the persistent parking problem. Bovich's message had clearly been received. Seeing the woman's car hopelessly stuck, and even the authorities unable to free it, he decided to show clemency. He returned with his tractor, smoothing the churned earth around her car, allowing her to finally regain the road. One thing was certain. This driver would think twice before parking on his land again. The incident quickly gained traction online, particularly on YouTube. Public opinion was divided, but largely supportive of Bovich. One commenter praised his actions, noting, People are just so selfish sometimes. Good that you taught them a lesson. Critics argued he should have posted warning signs or that the land's agricultural nature wasn't obvious. However, the majority commended Bovich for defending his property in a non-violent manner. The lingering question remained, would anyone dare to park there again after this incident? The incident sparked various suggestions from online viewers. Some proposed a potentially lucrative alternative, with one commenter suggesting, sorry, but he should have just let them park cordoned off the area, and then charged 100 bucks for parking. Heck, he could have put chains on their tires or something. However, this approach overlooked Bovich's primary concern, the potential damage to his crops, not merely the unauthorized use of his land. A more sympathetic viewer highlighted the environmental impact, stating, for those advocating the parking, just think rationally for one second. These cars are ruining the aggregate of the soil, and the toxins from the cars can leach into the ground. This perspective aligned more closely with Bovich's predicament, given the nearby landfill already posing a significant threat to his farmland. The additional weekly influx of vehicles and their associated pollutants only exacerbated an already precarious situation for his soil and crops. Some viewers took a stricter stance, arguing that the illegal parkers should have faced legal repercussions for their actions. This opinion underscored the seriousness of the trespassing issue and its potential consequences. What do you think about this story? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss, and see you in the next story.